Welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today we're going to do some testing with a MobiLinked TNC connected up to the Raspberry Pi. Stick around and we'll get right to it. So recently I was out testing the MobiLinked TNC device that I picked up for the Yezu FT65. Now, I originally picked this up for doing APRS with an Android phone, but after I got to looking at it and realized, you know, that it's a Bluetooth connection, the Raspberry Pi has Bluetooth, hmm, can those two talk to one another and we do more with it? So that's kind of what I've been playing with. I did manage uh, after some uh, playing around, I did manage to get the MobiLink connected up to the Raspberry Pi. And today I kind of wanted to go through testing with it. This is a super small setup that you're looking at. Let me get you zoomed out a little bit there. So what you've got uh, right here is the Raspberry Pi with a GPS dongle on it. I've just got a cell phone battery bank connected to the Pi, and that's the only thing connected to the Pi. Uh, so then the Bluetooth connection happens between the Raspberry Pi and the MobiLink, and then the MobiLink is obviously wired to the radio. And then the Raspberry Pi is also serving a wireless hotspot, so we'll be able to use... Uh, I'm going to use a laptop today just to make it a little easier for you guys to see uh, what's going on. It's a little, uh, a little better experience than looking at it on my cell phone. So we'll use the laptop to connect up to the Pi, and then uh, see if we can do some APRS and also some wind link over two meters. So let's go ahead and jump over to the laptop and get everything fired up. Okay, so on the Raspberry Pi, I'm just going to open up a terminal window and I have written a script that's going to start things for us. Um, so I'm going to just go ahead and run that script. It's going to scan for the MobiLink device, uh, figure out what its uh, MAC address is, and go ahead and create the connection between uh, the Bluetooth connection between the Raspberry Pi and the MobiLink. And then it's going to ask me if I want to start a WinLink session. Uh, if I choose yes here, it'll configure everything to run a WinLink session over two meter packet. If I choose no, then it's going to start uh, APRS instead and go ahead and fire up Exaster. Let's go ahead and try the WinLink session first. Okay, and you'll see right there on the screen that it tells me both services are started and ready. So now that those services are started, I'm going to leave the, uh, the, the VNC viewer right where it is, and I'm just going to jump over to uh, the regular internet browser here on the laptop, and we'll enter the IP address of the Raspberry Pi and the port of 5000 because that's a port I've chosen to run uh, Pat Winlink on. So let's go ahead and try to get a connection going. So let's choose the action and um, tell you what, let's go ahead and compose an email here and we'll just send it to our buddy Andy uh, N0JPD and we'll say test for video with MobiLinked. And it's not going to be a peer-to-peer. -peer, so we'll just enter test there and hit post. There's the outbox and there's the email sitting there ready to go out. Alright, so now let's click action and connect. And before I left the house, I looked everything up to know what station I was going to try to connect to. I'm really surprised I'm able to do this with uh, just a whip antenna on it. I actually brought uh, a, a fiberglass mast and a roll-up J-pole in case I wasn't up tall enough, but I've driven up to a spot that has allowed me uh, to get into it with just a whip. So we'll enter W4WTN-10, and the radio is sitting at 145.050. Let's go ahead and hit that connect button. All 
All right, you can see that it does show connected uh, right up here to W4WTN. Just should be a couple more seconds and that connection should complete. And for some reason, it kind of wanted to hang up there. So it probably took that about 45 seconds uh, to start transmitting the message. I'm not really sure why that is, but that's one of the reasons we run these tests to try to find uh, glitches in the system. Let's uh, hang around though and see if it will finish up. All right, so it does look like that it finished up. Let's check the outbox. Yep, nothing there. So it did finally send. I'm not sure why it took it so long. And I'll kind of go over these steps to get everything connected without using my script, maybe in a future video. Uh, right now, I just wanted to kind of field test this thing, though, and see what happened with it. So we'll go ahead and let it rescan and reconnect to that Bluetooth device. And then when it asks uh, this time, we're going to choose no for the Winlink connection. And the script that I've written should go ahead and start up uh, Exaster. So right there, we'll say no. And you'll see that it says it's starting at Exaster. So we'll give that just a second to boot up here. And one thing I've got to do is I've got to swap the radio over to 144.390 for the APRS frequency here in the States. Now, I did not uh, bother loading uh, the maps into Exaster, and it, it was just kind of a quick experiment type thing. So it doesn't have the maps loaded in, but you can see that it's already received a signal uh, from, from another station. So it looks like it's picking up all right. Uh, oh yeah, it looks like uh, several have already come in right there. So let's go ahead and hit the Transmit Now button, and that should put us on the map, and I'll overlay that from APRS.FI into the video uh, at this point. Now, while we're out here, let's also try to send a message. Now, I'm gonna send this back to my gateway that's running at home. So we'll say send message to, I'm gonna say KM4 ACK-2 and say test from MobiLink. And we'll go ahead and hit the send button. And let's see if we get an acknowledgement from that. Okay, so it sent it out twice and I have not received an acknowledgement back that the message has been accepted and or delivered. Uh, so, not sure what's going on with that. There goes the third attempt. You can see that right here. It's the third attempt, that first number. It's the third time that it's sent it out, and then it waits a period of time and tries to send it out again. So, I don't know that we'll see an acknowledgement uh, from that. I know that we're picking things up on the map, uh, or, or picking things up over RF because you can see that on the map here. Uh, but I still haven't received an acknowledgement. So I'll have to wait uh, until I get back to the house and see if that message did show up on my home gateway. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit cancel the pending message there and close out of that. And one other quick test that I'm going to run, we're gonna try sending one more message. Uh, this time we're going to try to send a text message to my mobile device. So, SMS GTE. Now, if you haven't seen uh, the recent video I did uh, in collaboration with Signals Everywhere, I'll leave a link to that right up at the top. Uh, that way you can kind of get an idea of how we're using APRS to send text messages to the mobile device. But let's say at me and say test for video. And we'll go ahead and send that message out. And I should hear this one come in on my phone, even though I'm using my phone to do uh, the recording this morning. Maybe we will see that uh, come in on the phone. I did get an acknowledgement that that one was received. And yes, I did just get the text message on my mobile device. So we know that that is working. So it looks like APRS 
is working pretty much flawlessly uh, connected up to the MobiLink device. I'm going to have to do some more experimenting and try to figure out why the uh, Winlink connection it is slow. It goes through, uh, but it just seems a lot slower than it should be on uh, a 1200 baud connection. So I'm not sure if that's weak uh, between, uh, you know, a weak signal between me and the gateway or if it's something going on between the Pi and the MobiLint. But I'll continue to play with that and report back if I find anything that made an improvement. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you on the next video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up before you head off, and click the subscribe button if you haven't already. We will see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.